right guys we're back out here with the 51 like we said at the end of the last video we have a lot of work to do and in the meantime i have gotten a lot of work done boring stuff you probably don't really care about except as you can see she's all wired now so that that works done a lot of the brake lines are done we can go over kind of this stuff later in more detail but we've been making progress so we got a lot more progress we got to make now now we're back to fattening some stuff yep so now we're getting to the not so fun items you know we're gonna battery tray mount the fuel cell run some fuel lines and uh fuel filter and stuff like that the little Mount stuff we need yeah we got to make some noise i know you guys want to hear it and believe me we really want to hear this thing make some noise through these headers so it's kind of the unfun stuff but you know it'll be interesting so i gotta get done so the list is long and then we're running out of time got seven weekends so we gotta make this thing perform in front of a crowd so yeah. pressure's on all right so first thing we got to do is the battery tray so on these old trucks the battery actually sits underneath the floor here it's a pretty cool idea but the old batteries tend to rot out and eat out the bracket so remove this there's just a big old hole here nothing to hold the battery so luckily we've got some old uh, race car parts over here it used to be a battery tray and a sweet drag car that you'll probably see at some point again but for now it's donating parts to this 51 so that's that's project number one right now so we built headers and they all fit really nice and they work really well but we can't build a battery tray apparently it's effed up <laughs> yeah we didn't nail this one neither of us apparently know how to read a tape measure Well, we just went by the, we just didn't put cut 45s, we cut like 50s. Consistent yeah. though, look how consistent. That is true. You know what, you know what that means? <laughs> that means the material is messed up, it's not us. We measured perfect. All right, so all I took from that was, uh, the worse you are cutting, the better you better be at welding. Cause now, look at that. Well guys, we got this uh, battery tray mounted in here. And uh, it fits real nice, it's super tight. You wanna take the battery out? Well, we can't, it's stuck in. So I think we're gonna have to get the angle grinder and cut our tacks. And I think we're gonna make the battery tray sit at a little bit of an angle so it slides in a little easier for us. So let's try that now. All right, so we got the battery out finally. Almost fell on Josh's head when he hit it with a hammer from underneath, but. Well, I think it pinched your finger. Yeah. And it got mine a little oh. bit. No pain, no gain, but let's try it again. I think it's gonna slip right in. Yeah, fits like a glove now, and it, so you can actually get it out too. So the trick is, can you pull it out? Cause that was our problem last time. Oh man. Perfect. Perfect. Oh yeah. All right, item number one off the list. Check. Next. All right, guys, now it's time to get this fuel cell mount built. Let's get it underneath the truck and uh, get a plane together because we ain't got one yet. So, let's see what uh -oh. we got. So, the stock tank went right here. So, I'm hoping this thing will just fit kind of just like that. I'd like to use so the stock filler neck went through here, which right now we're up about here. We can probably make it work. It's still under the seat. We could just plumb it over. So if we ran straight across the top, like we were talking earlier, like up against the side, right here, you could run around through there. Could do angle out, and then we could build like a battery tray bottom that just bolts up on four corners. All right. Well, you'd have to. It would have to extend past to go up. Make it. Yeah, run straight across, angled out, so the flange is out, but it's flat against here. And then build like kind of a tray that sits under here, not a tray, but a frame. And then we could bolt up on either side, use that threaded rod we got. So we could build a square to capture this on all, on the corners. 
and just extend it past a little bit. Sweet. So we'll build a frame for the bottom of this first, probably. Yep. And we're not laying our backs. All right, guys, we got this uh, fuel tank kind of mocked up in here. It's kind of hard to see kind of where we're at, but you know, we got the frame made, put underneath, it's bolted up. There's still some more stuff we got to do. I need to strap it down somehow and tighten everything up, but overall it's looking pretty good. It fits in here. You can't really see it from the outside, which is what we wanted, but I don't know. I think that's enough for today. We'll come back tomorrow and finish this thing out. All right, guys, we got the fuel tank all mounted up. It's pretty solid. We'll show you that in a little, a little bit later when we're putting this in, but wanted to go over the the fuel system here so we've kind of laid it all out here and mapped it out to make sure we have everything we're missing a couple adapters here but it's not a big deal so we got we got an an hose running up here dash six into a pre-filter through the the holly fuel pump i think it's rated to 600 horse i don't remember exactly and we got a post filter another an line so this is going to get mounted up on the frame rail and then here's our uh, boost reference on. fuel pressure regulator so this is going to mount on the firewall so we got a dash six into that and then a dash six out the other side to our uh, fuel injectors here, 36 pound fuel injectors. Should be enough fuel for now. And then on here, we got our, uh, we got our fuel pressure sensor that goes into the holly so we can data log that. And then return line is uh, more of the same AN hose to uh, three eighths hard line we got in here. And then back to hose and drops back in the tank. And it's all pretty straightforward. We just got to put it on the truck and build it. All right, guys, so that's our finished fuel tank mount up there. It's got the clamp on it to hold it down. Yeah, it's not really going anywhere. That thing's pretty solid. Still got to make a fill neck up to the, the bed, but that'll work. It's in the stock location, tucked up out of the way real nice. But now we got to get this fuel pump and filter under here. It's going to go up here on this frame rail. It's quite a long setup, but there's plenty of room up here. Yeah, I think that'll work because we can shoot it right up there in the front. Maybe bring it back a little bit. Yeah, probably about there. Because then we can just shoot up to get it up top to the fuel pressure regulator. And... So we gotta go lower. We gotta go lower? Oh, the mounts are up. Yeah. All right. Unless we make a plate for it to go up higher. Uh, and then just weld the plate on the frame. That's probably the easier way to do it. Yeah. Let's do that. Let's just make a plate, mount it to the plate, and then weld the plate on. So we got the sweet little plate made here that the fuel pump mounts to. Weld it up in here. Get it up nice and high, kind of away from the drive shaft. There should be enough room back there, right? Plenty. Plenty. It looks good up here too, so you want to tack it in. I think that's gonna hold. Well, put another one. All right. Look at that. That looks sweet. All right, guys. So we got the fuel system all done here. It's all plumbed in. It's wired in. Made all the lines, ran them up through. It's looking pretty pretty nice under here. All right, so when Josh was plumbing the fuel system up, I made these awesome brackets for our LS coils. They're gonna be getting welded right on top of the valve cover here. It's gonna be a coil near plug system, and I think it's gonna work out real sweet. All right, guys, we're gonna wrap it up for today. It's been a real successful weekend, knocked a bunch of things off the list. Yeah, it's getting a lot closer to firing. I mean, we got a whole fuel system done, which is kind of critical. That was a lot of plumbing, a lot of fab work on the fuel tank. Batteries in, that was a lot of fab work and frustration is the word for it, I guess. But yeah, now the coil packs are all mounted up. So we can start making plug wires. And like I said, we're not, we gotta fire it soon and we're getting closer and closer. There's not a lot left keeping us from firing it up. Yeah, so thanks for watching. Stay tuned, we'll see you guys next time.